Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a powerful diagnostic tool you've probably heard of, serum protein electrophoresis, or SPEP. Whether you're a medical student, a clinician, or just curious about how doctors detect hidden illnesses through blood proteins, this video is for you. So let's get into it. SPEP is a lab test that separates proteins in the blood based on their electrical charge and size. Using a gel or capillary system, it produces a visual pattern, a graph with distinct regions that reflect different protein groups. These include albumin, alpha-1, alpha-2, beta, and gamma globulins. Doctors order an SPEP when they suspect a monoclonal gammopathy like multiple myeloma, autoimmune diseases like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, chronic infections, or to investigate unexplained high total protein, hypogamma globulinemia, or nephrotic syndrome. It's also helpful in evaluating liver dysfunction and certain nutritional deficiencies. Here's how the bands or peaks are interpreted. Albumin is the tallest, sharpest peak. It drops in liver disease, inflammation, or kidney loss. Alpha-1 and alpha-2 globulins rise in inflammation but drop in genetic conditions or hemolysis. Beta globulins include transferrin and complement proteins. They fluctuate in iron deficiency and inflammatory states. Gamma globulins represent immunoglobulins, and this is where it gets really interesting. A sharp, narrow spike in the gamma region is called an M spike. This suggests a monoclonal gammopathy often seen in multiple myeloma, MGUS, or Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia. In contrast, a broad-based increase in the gamma region is polyclonal. This is typically found in autoimmune diseases, chronic infections, or liver disease. Finding an abnormal result is just the beginning. If you see an M-spike or suspect a hidden disorder, the next steps might include immunofixation to identify the specific antibody, serum-free light chain assays, urine electrophoresis to check for Bentz-Jones proteins, and in some cases a bone marrow biopsy. Let's wrap up with a few clinical pearls. A normal SPEP doesn't rule out myeloma, especially if light chains are involved. Always check serum-free light chains. Polyclonal elevation in gamma globulins. Think autoimmune disease or chronic infection. Low gamma globulins may indicate immunodeficiency or protein loss. MGUS requires annual monitoring. It can evolve into something more serious. And that's your comprehensive guide to serum protein electrophoresis. It's a deceptively simple test with the power to uncover complex diseases. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more high-yield content, and drop a comment if you have questions or want to see a video on IFE or myeloma workups. Thanks for watching, and keep learning.